Welcome, welcome, Highlander Gaming 2022 here. There can be only one. And this is part 13 of our Let's Play episode of God of War Ragnarok. Uh, last episode we explored, Niffel, explored Niflheim and the training area. And now we are going to grab Tyr and head to Alfheim to continue with the story. of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, the Light Elves came back. They seemed better in Alpha. <laughs> Did they now? Here we go. Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. Hmm. Okay, guess we've gone this way. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. Twelve. <laughs> Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. Shiny, shiny, give me the chest. And sprint. A living desert. Huh? That does not sound terrible. Does it? I'm getting vibes of something big and scary would very much like to eat me. I just forgot to set my time. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. Mm, I'm thinking my guess of something big one to eat me. So might have been right what on the money. Hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the dark elves get on best they can. There's one. Two. Where is number three? Too far. There. 
The Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting no your chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah, okay. very well. Okay, can't go back that way. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freyr's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, is that one? There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so we've got to use this. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. Apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. <laughs> Runic attack, possibly. of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Yes, would you like to continue the story? You mentioned how that piece fell apart as soon as he left. I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh no. Oh no. That's, That's enough. Please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Whoa! Was that a bomb? Ah. You're the one to free the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. Help us. 
They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. There's really no other way. Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. <laughs> So this time around, it looks like we are fighting against the light elves instead of the dark ones. Maybe they'll follow there. Oh, not on your chest. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably oh! more tributes to find. Best we move on for now, brother. I don't think we have the right tools for this uh, one. More of those ones. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim, and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! It's here. You keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? Okay, let's do this. What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the division. The division. Yes. The elves weren't always split between light and dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Hmm. And then you got greedy and, and they both wanted to have it all to themselves, I'm guessing. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. <laughs> no sense in spoiling the surprise. Never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye, Fimple Winter, you reckon? Of course, making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power. And thus, the Light Elves were born. Mm -hmm. OK. 
here. Well done. Though I imagine our light elf friends will be less than pleased. Hey, don't we can just open with brute strength and make out. Speaking of light elves, let me try talking to them again. They Best may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, the shrine awaits. <laughs> stuff I want. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alpine's light to enhance the temple. And themselves, by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. Let's see. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. Okay. Where are we? Mumia, do you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. Gotta be a better angle on that Twilight Stone. The Twilight Stone didn't give you the right angle. Are you certain?
Light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh, there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back. Left Whoa. right. The long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know both sides of the story, best not stick in your nose. Light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Hmm. And more than one. Quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Esteem. Oh, 
On the other side. I see something through here. Just how are we getting to you? Whoa! Tyr can really jump. We're going to be doing a bit of bike trotting later here. I'll meet you on the other side. This mystic doesn't see us. There's pirates down on the ground. That's the wrong. No, I see. another chest. He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light elves with so much control over the temple. That's on us. We must have anointed a new temple guardian. Svartal Yoffer's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. He's in the light now, too. <laughs> Up 
this way. Father, over here! Here they come. Do what you must. Bridges. Look at this statue. These crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. Oh! The crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to poison. Yes. So we continue. Quicker, I think. Two. Right. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Where's the third one? Yeah! 
last one. Father, watch the oar! See what goodies are in the non chest. Mike's health increased. Now, before we go any further. I think this is about as good a place as any to be here once we get this old uh, and driven. Uh, like and subscribe. The raven we will pick this up in the next episode.